Hi, Timothy Younger here. In this video, I'm going to write a cover letter in HTML and show you how we can change it uh, so that uh, we can reuse the cover letter quite easily. And we'll create a nice PDF that you can send off to a prospective employer, and it'll be pretty cool. All right, so let's get started. So I've created a basic HTML framework here, and we're going to be working in the body of the document. So let's tab over here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to create an unordered list, uh, and then we'll have a list item here. And then within the list item, uh, we're going to have the employer name. Okay, so let's just have it uh, actually like this. Employer name or employer company, let's call it company. Okay, and then we'll close out the list item and we'll create another list item under there. And under that, what we'll have is we'll have the uh, date, whatever the date is that you're writing this cover letter. And we'll close that out and close out our list. Okay, and then we're gonna have a paragraph. Uh, so it'll be something like, Dear hiring manager, uh, and then we'll end that paragraph. We'll have another uh, paragraph below that. And what we'll do in this paragraph is uh, we'll write an opening sentence, something like, um, I feel, feel I am an excellent candidate for the position of, and then we'll have a job position that um, uh, at, and then we'll do employer company here. All right, and now let's uh, you know fill in some lorem ipsum here. So I'm just going to pull up my browser, copy some good, some good, nice lorem ipsum, maybe about this much, you know, provide some information about yourself. We'll just paste that in, close out that paragraph, uh, create another paragraph, maybe have some more lorem ipsum, you know, some good lorem ipsum uh, so they know that you're good at that. Um, and then below that, we'll do another paragraph again with some lorem ipsum and We'll end that one out. And then let's have uh, one more paragraph at least. Um, maybe we should have five paragraphs, but we'll make this one kind of short. Uh, and, you know, practicing grammar will hopefully, we'll, we'll make this one a little bit shorter. So we'll copy that. Uh, let's put a period, proper grammar. And um, we'll say something like, uh, please consider me for the position of, uh, and then what did I call it up here? Because I want a job position, okay? So job position at employer company, okay? All right, and we'll close out that uh, paragraph, uh, nope. Didn't want to do that. I was starting a new one. So we'll close out that paragraph and then we'll start one last paragraph. Uh, thank you for your consideration. Uh, and then put a period there. And then let's do an, uh, a list. So let's do a list. And in our list, let's have uh, Let's have a few different things. One is your name. So, well, we'll have to have sincerely. And then we'll close that out and do another list item here. Uh, you know, your name. So I put Timothy Unkert, close up the list item, create another list item, maybe my email. So your email. And let's make this, uh, let's make this a clickable link. So we'll be, do mail to uh, your, I'm writing this in the mini buffer, your email at uh, something.com, whatever it is. Uh, and then, you know, in here we put your email at something, 
Com. Go to the end here, close out that tag, create another list tag. Maybe uh, you have a phone number, like some random numbers here to call and we'll close that out. Uh, it's a pretty long phone number, but who knows? And then your YouTube channel, of course, you want to put that on there, of course. So you'd put, uh, you make that a clickable link as well. So yeah, that's youtube.com slash uh, C for the channel, Timothy Unker. You want to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all that kind of stuff. I put that there. And then you want to put the actual address as well. Let me move this up. So uh, just in case they don't click on it. So youtube.com slash channel slash Timothy Unkert. Okay. Uh, we'll save that. So we've got that pretty much worked out. We've got our body closing right now. Um, so if we just open this up, let's just go open it up here. And we'll go to our Linux files, cover letters, base cover letter.html. It looks like this. So we're going to have to do a little bit of styling because, well, one, we don't want these bullets. Okay. Um, actually, when you switch this to PDF, everything will be okay. Otherwise, we may want to bring in a custom font. Okay. So let's go up to the head of the document here. And we want to, we don't want to link in an external style sheet because the browser, we're going to use the browser to print the PDF and the browser will override an external style sheet, but it won't override CSS written in the head of the document. This is what I've learned while creating cover letters. So uh, we'll do a style tag here and then unordered list item. Um, we just want to have list style type none. And we also want to move them a little bit left because uh, the natural style for a list item is to be indented a little bit. So I'm going to say margin left, and I found this through experimentation, minus 40 pixels, close that out, and we'll close out our style tag as well. Okay. And save that. Okay. So now let's go here. Let's refresh. Okay, so now everything's up against here. Um, so what we need to do is we need to now print it. We could print it, and I'll show you how this is going to turn out. So we, we have it like this. This is our base cover letter. It looks okay, but I'd like to change the font a little. So let's go to Google Fonts. Uh, Google Fonts. And for print, for looking best in print, what we want is a serif font, okay? So um, let's just remove that. I had source code pro from before. So we're gonna go to categories here. We'll just unclick everything except for serif, okay? And actually, we could do it in display. Do a little cursive, but no, no, we won't do that. Um, you could, who knows? <laughs> But Serif, uh, I think, does better in print. So we could do something like Meriwether, Playfair Display, PT Serif. Uh, let's do PT Serif. Okay, and we're just going to get the regular 400. So we're going to select that style. Move this over here. Um, we're going to put these links in. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put these links in above the style. So right here, we're going to paste in those links. Um, yeah, we can tab these over. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have some body styles here. So we're going to say body. And then we want to take and copy this font fair here, font family here, sorry, font family, paste that in, close that uh, for everything to be consistent. Um, let's let's make the font a little bit larger. Let's say font size is 1.1 rem, and we'll close that out. And we'll also do a font size of 1.1 rem here, just to make it a little bit larger. Okay. So now we'll go back, and what we'll do is now it, it increases the font a little bit. Now if we um, go to print 
yeah, we want to save as PDF. So we've got it a little bit longer. We might want to add a little bit to those paragraphs, add some nice lorem ipsum qualities that you have so you get it to be a full page. The one thing you want to take off is you're going to see this printed at the bottom of your cover letter, which is we're saving as PDF. See, saving as PDF. But I want to get that little the headers and the footers off. So I can do that by clicking on more settings and going to headers and footers. And now that's off. And now we're ready, almost ready to print our cover letter. But this is going to be our base cover letter. OK, now let's say we're applying to Acme. OK, so what we want to do is I'm going to open up a terminal here. And uh, let's list out what we have. So we have this base cover letter. I'm going to move or actually I'm going to copy the base cover letter dot HTML to Acme uh, cover letter dot HTML. OK, so I copied that. I'm going to quit out of here and now let's go back here, update it, and we'll work on this one. Okay. Now let me make this a little bit larger for you. The reason being is we want that base one. We want to be able to reuse it. And all we need to really do is we need to do a search. So, uh, so we're going to do a query replace, OK? And what we need to replace first is the employer company. So we're going to replace employer company, OK? Replace that with uh, Acme uh, Incorporated. That's we're applying to that, OK? So we'll do that uh, and just hit, uh, no, I didn't want to skip it. Uh, so let me do that again. So let's quit out of here. Let's do a query replace. Uh, hit enter. I think I need to just want to replace all of them. So yeah, we replaced all of them with Acme Incorporated. I did that with a um, exclamation point. Okay. So then we can do another search and replace for the date. Oh, and I did it. Did it where it was below. So I've got to do that again, but you'll get faster at this when you, when you do it. Okay. So, okay. Now I've done that. All right. So let's do another query replace this time for the date. Um, and we're going to replace that with today's date, which is, I think the 16th when I'm recording this, maybe the 17th, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to replace that. Um, there was only one date. We want to replace the job position as well. Let's do another query replace job. And I'll, I'll tell you why I'm putting these in square brackets in a minute. Job position. And um, we're going to replace that with whatever the job position is. So let's say for Acme, we're applying for a position in uh, hand kite instructor. So uh, we'll type hand kite instructor, hit enter, uh, and we want to replace all of them. So I'm just going to use an exclamation point, and we replaced all of them. So now uh, please consider me for the position of hand kite instructor at Acme Incorporated. So we've now created our cover letter. Okay, uh, we want to save this. Now we want to make sure we open up the right file. Um, so we're going to open up the Acme cover letter here. We're going to print. We'll save it as a PDF. Just click Save. And we'll just save it in the downloads. And now let's open it. And we, you know, we obviously we can put this in whatever folder we want, but we can open this. And now we have a nice PDF created for a cover letter. And you can mess around with whatever fonts you want, whatever layout. But you created a cover letter in HTML. And you created a cover letter if you're applying for a lot of the same jobs. You can quickly go in and do a query replace or search and replace to whatever text editor you're using to alter a few things and make it unique to the employer. Uh, I hope you liked this video. It was a little bit of fun to do. Um, you may want to think about how you do cover letters. This isn't uh, sound advice on that, but it just was a, a nice demonstration of something you could do with uh, HTML. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. You also consider subscribing as it will help the channel grow and also help 
these videos get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.